here's what you need to know about theories of intelligence for the ECCP. According to Sternberg's triarchic theory of successful intelligence, there are three factors that combine and work together to help us achieve goals. One, analytical intelligence, which helps us acquire new information. Two, creative intelligence, which helps us apply pre-existing knowledge and skills to new problems and situations. And similarly, number three, practical intelligence, which helps us apply pre-existing knowledge and skills to everyday problems and situations that we encounter. Most traditional assessments are really good at assessing analytical intelligence, but they kind of neglect creative and practical intelligence. So that's the whole idea behind Sternberg's triarchic theory. To remember this theory, think about the word stern and picture someone telling you in a stern voice not to forget about creative or practical intelligence. Spearman's two-factor theory only has two factors, the general intellectual factor, which is abbreviated G, and specific factors, which are abbreviated S. On any given task, cognitive performance depends on G, as well as any specific factors that are related to the task at hand. Horn and Cattell's theory also has two factors, crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. Crystallized intelligence, which is abbreviated GC, depends on past learning and experiences, cultural experiences and things you learned in school, vocabulary. It usually peaks between ages 60 and 70. On the other hand, fluid intelligence, which is abbreviated GF, is independent of past learning. It involves novel problem solving, reasoning, etc. And it peaks between ages 30 and 40. To remember this theory, I pronounce it differently, like horn and cattle, like cows. Knowing things about cows would be a form of crystallized intelligence that depends on your past learning, like if you've been to a farm before and your teachers have taught you what cows are and you've seen cows. Now the other part of the name, the horn, is something that could be used for more fluid reasoning, like if someone gave you a horn and you had to figure out how to get the cows to come to you by blowing the horn. That would be some problem solving fluid intelligence. Carroll's three stratum theory talks about three different strata or three different levels of intelligence. At the bottom, stratum three, you have general intelligence. Then it gets progressively more specific. So stratum two, you have eight different broad abilities and stratum one is even more specific abilities that are related to those broad abilities. To remember this theory, just think about Carol like a Christmas Carol and how this whole model kind of looks like a Christmas tree. It's really broad at the bottom and gets more narrow at the top. The cattell horn carroll model combines the horn cattell and Carroll models of intelligence. It's constantly being updated based on new research, but right now there are 16 broad cognitive abilities and 80 more specific abilities. On the ECCP, they might ask you what cognitive assessment is based off of this model. Well, the Kaufman Assessment Battery for Children, KABC2, can be interpreted two different ways. One way is using the cattell horn carroll model, and another way is using Luria's pass theory. Now this is the one you might be familiar with, Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences, which states that there are nine different intelligences, linguistic, musical, logical, mathematical, spatial, bodily kinesthetic, interpersonal, intrapersonal, naturalistic, and existential. All of us have these nine intelligences in different amounts. The past theory of intelligence is based on Luria's research on the functions of different parts of the brain. According to this theory, four different functions interact with each other to influence intelligence. Planning, attention, simultaneous processing, and sequential processing. That's what PASS stands for. Now the ECCP likes to ask you which cognitive assessment is based off of this theory. You should know that the Cognitive Assessment System, 2nd edition, CAS2, is based off of this model. You should also know that the Kaufman Assessment Battery for Children, KABC2, can be interpreted using the PASS theory. It can also be interpreted using the cattell horn carroll model, as I already mentioned. Okay, those are the theories of intelligence that you need to know for the ECCP. Hit like and subscribe if you want more free ECCP content. Happy studying!